Kelly Boyd here, your Christian professional organizer, author, speaker, and coach, and I have missed you. I was off this summer because I broke my pelvic bone in two places and my back. So anyway, I'm up, up, and around now, and I want to share with you something that my family and I do because we think it's awesome and a miracle of God we get to witness when we pay attention. And I'm going to show you the miracle here in a couple of minutes, but it's about the butterfly. We collect off the milkweeds. We bring them in the home. And we have them in these little cages that we can see into, and then they have the, they turn to the chrysalis, the little cocoon, and we watch it, and we watch it as it comes out, a butterfly. But there are three points really, really important, and I'm going to show you the miracle. Very few of us ever get to see it. We've done this for years, and we have never gotten to see the birth like we're going to today. So hang on with me. And there are several points with this butterfly. Number one, proof. God exists. This is an absolute miracle, the butterfly. The um, little caterpillar spins itself into this little cocoon. When it's in there, it isn't just a caterpillar sleeping and sprouting wings. That would be too easy. That is not what happens at all. And I know because I've accidentally squished one of the, cat <laughs> the uh, cocoons and it's a black liquid in there. And you can see as it hangs when it's green, like gold starts to come out. But it's actually black mush inside. Again, take it from one who knows. So this caterpillar goes in, dissolves to nothing. Nothing. And then is built back up into this very purposeful, exact same, every single time, that is absolutely amazing. So number one, that is proof of our creator, that something goes to absolutely nothing. It's like a snowman melting into water and then coming back alive all by itself. Yeah, right, only the butterfly, only by God. So that's one. It's about struggle. You're gonna watch this poor butterfly struggle and you're gonna to wanna to help it like its brother that just hatched like five or 10 minutes before it. Its wings are nice and dry and flat. It can't help. It's got to come out all on its own and it's got to wrestle and have tension and resistance in order for it to grow and push and be more than it is. We have to remember that. God hasn't forgotten the butterfly when it seems like nobody is there to help him. It's his way of saying, hey, you're going to see what I've given you is awesome, but it comes at a price and you need to be strong to do the plan. So same with you. Number one, miracles are all around us because God is all around us. And number two, the struggle doesn't mean you've been left behind and that God doesn't care. Proof is in the butterfly. And number three is awesome. But I'm going to go into that one in more detail after you get to watch the butterfly. See you in a few. Bye.
Okay, that was awesome, wasn't it? Just goes to show you, if we pay attention, there are things of beauty all around us. That's why the Bible says, don't be depressed. If you are, you're thinking of the wrong things. Look around you and you'll find things that are lovely, things that are beautiful, things that are holy. So we're looking in the wrong places. Anyway, the third part of what I want to talk about with this butterfly, number one, it's proof of a creator. Nothing melts to nothing. It comes back, what a beautiful creature. Number two, the struggle is worth it. Wasn't it worth it for that butterfly? And number three, rebirth. And I am talking about rebirth in this life and the next life. I picture, and this is how when somebody's going through some sorrowful situations, this is how I picture it. And I know that God uses pictures over and over and over in the Bible to teach us a lesson. And I believe this is one of the lessons that we really need to get. As the caterpillar is going into the cocoon, it's urged to, it's just nature. I assure you, it's probably going, no, 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 I don't want to go in the cocoon. I've got my caterpillar friends. I've got my house over here. I love leaves. Oh, I love leaves. I can't believe I have to leave my leaves. Don't make me go into the cocoon. Please, I don't want to go in the cocoon. I love my caterpillar life. He has to go whether it's a sickness in life that we have to go through that we don't want to, or it's the grave that we don't want to. No, I don't want to go. We have a yearning because more is for us. But then I looked at that butterfly and I thought, as he's stretching out, he's going, hey, hey, check me out now. Wow. I am way better than I was before. I can't believe I wanted to be a caterpillar any longer. Check me out. Woo! Yeah, you know that's what he's saying now. And God says, that's a picture for you. If you're in a sorrowful moment, if you're sick, if someone's sick, you'll make it through and you'll be better than you were before in this life or the next. But it is a promise of your God. If you accept Jesus Christ as your Savior, you're a butterfly. Very cool. Have a super day and God bless. Remember, you can see more at a1organizing.com. Thanks.